Hello everyone, let's continue to check the functionality of the synthesized netlist as compared to what we saw in the past couple of videos for the memory as an as an RTL netlist. So we saw the functionality of the memory. Remember sometime back we saw when does the DIN goes inside and when does the DIN, DIN goes out comes outside of the memory and so on. So we have looked into the a brief functionality of, of the behavior of the memory. Now let's look into the behavior of, uh, of the same memory but in a synthesized format. So now we have real gates which is present over here. It's just a matter of feeding it with the right inputs and check whether we get the right outputs okay so the first step is to basically set the addr as zero so remember uh, we, are, we were looking into uh, uh, we, are, we are trying to access this particular area of the memory where we were trying to look into the addr zeroth location data present in the memory so we are trying to add, address that we are trying to access that so we have, we have put an addr equal to zero and these are the memory uh, memory lines the current memory bits are present over here this is what you see over, over here as bit and bit so this is nothing but these lines mem0 and mem1 okay we have looked this thing in the, we have looked this thing into the past and 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 uh, and uh, we had put a value of not defined in each of the memory blocks in each of the memory in each of that address line so your address line or address zero or mem zero has a data of x and mem1 also has a data of x now what we have to do is we have to first of all feed in this data we have to start with these data values and see what do we get after the first clock cycle and what do we get after the second clock cycle just in the similar way that we had seen in the last videos as, as we have done it for the for the rtl behavior or for the functionality checking so let's do that so for that you will need a couple of truth tables over here if you see the gates the actual logic gates that are present over here is we have an inverter which is invx and invx we have a NAND gate, NAND 2 X1, we have a NAND 2 X1, we have OAI gate which is OR and inverter gate, we have AOI and or inverter gate and we have a NOR gate. So we, uh, if, we, if we remove the inverter from, from the picture because we know the inverter behavior as, as because inverter behavior is pretty easy, you get a, you get an input signal and you get the invert of the output signal at the output of the inverter. So we know the behavior of the inverter is pretty easy. The, the, the other behaviors, the behaviors of the other gates, for example, the NAND, NOR, OAI and AOI these gates needs to be the functionality of these gates needs to be present before us so what we'll do is we'll keep the truth table ready for this gate so it will look something like this so if you look into this gate it's a NAND gate NAND gate whenever your one of the inputs is zero your output is one and whenever both inputs are one your output is zero for the NOR gate whenever or whenever one of the one of the inputs is one you get an output as zero and whenever both inputs are zero you get an output as one it's an it's an inverted version of the OR gate this is an inverted version of an AND gate and now, now you have the OAI and AOI so when you say OAI it's nothing but it's it's nothing but OR and invert so if you see if you uh, if you see the functionality or if you see the functional behavior over here it matches with what it says so or is oring so a plus b is oring then we have to we have to and with the or so you have this particular or and you have to and with c and then you have to invert the entire thing so you have inverted the entire thing over here so you have first done the oring you have done then whatever you get the output of the oring you and it with c and the entire thing you invert over here and this is the truth table from from this particular function you might want to check this uh, you might want to check this particular thing by hand calculating so let's say we'll take an example let's take a we'll take an example of this one 100 so a is 1 a is 1 and b is 0 so a or b is 1 and 1 and c c is again 0 so 1 and c is uh, c which is zero which will which will give you an and ending operation will give you a, uh, ending operation will give you a zero value because your c is zero and then invert of the entire thing will be one so invert of the entire thing will be one so this is how your output will look like similarly for the and or inverter gates it, it it looks something like this so you have to first and your inputs so a and b you have to or it with the c you have to or it with the c and the entire thing you have to invert which is i entire thing you have to invert so if you look into another example of of, of this one as well so let's say we'll take an example of of this particular uh, area where a is 0 b is 0 and c is 1 so a and b, b will remain 0 plus one basically or of or of with or with one you will get a value of one and then invert of the entire thing will get a value of zero so you might want to check the check the functionality or check this particular truth table by hand because it's a very important thing and it's very it's very necessary to to understand the entire functioning of of the of the entire synthesis output netlist so this is what we are going to do a hand calculation in reality there are tools available which will do the entire functionality checking between the rtl and the and the synthesis netlist there are there are various verification tools available to do that but this will give you a clear picture of what is what does that verification tool do so in order to get that particular clear clear picture we need to do some hand-drawn hand-drawn simulations over here later we can move to the automated tool systems 
okay so we'll 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 look that when we when we reach there when we actually uh, look into a course about verification or verifying things verifying the rtl versus or comparing the rtl uh, rtl versus synthesized netlist we are going to do a separate course on that so we'll we'll look the entire tool how does the tool operates and and how does how does the tool functions what are the stimulus and everything we'll look into that in that particular course in this course let's try to do a hand calculation because it's a small circuit so moving on we have we have this particular functionality this is the one that we are trying to check so at current instead at current point of time your addr is zero which we have already mentioned over here your addr is zero your memory is zero mem zero or addr zero has got a value of x so which is which is nothing but this mem line that you see over here this the, this uh, rhombus uh, this rhombus shape box is this diamond shape box is nothing but uh, it's a bus that's what it's referring to so you have this particular bus has got a value of x the addr one which is again this mem uh, mem of one has also got a value of x over here okay so this is the current state of the memory now we have to give the positive edge of the clock and see what do we get okay so we are trying to simulate this entire circuitry for this edge of the clock now looking into the entire behavior the first thing that we need to start from is over here so we have to start from the nand gate moving on to this particular nand gate moving on to this oai gate and this aoi gate and so on and why so because actually we are trying to shift whatever you see the input at the d in port to the output port that's what we are going to do and the path is either this path or it is this path that you see over here okay so we are trying to access this path basically this path goes through the through the flip flop and this flip flop d pin which is where the data will settle this d pin comes from the oai gate and this output of the oai uh, the output of the oai gate is dependent on the inputs a b and c for which the inputs come from the nand and some uh, and some data come from the d input so we need, we need to actually look into the functionality or or the state or the state of each and every output of each and every gate to reach a point to reach a conclusion over here so let's try to do that we'll start with the nand gates let's say the first uh, first uh, function or the first gate that you reach over here is x nand 0 so why it is x nand 0 this is dollar 92 we are trying to get the output of of the nand gate one of the inputs let's say this one if we say this one this has got this has been coming from here so which is x so this x goes and it, it sits at the a pin of the of the nand gate your b pin is nothing but the address pin so this is the zero the zero comes and sit at the b pin and if you look into the now you try to get the value of this one so it is x nand gate and x could be either 0 or 1 so it, it basically you can you can refer you can look into this particular function something like this you can say that one of the inputs is being tied to logic 0 and one of the inputs can be either logic 0 or logic 1 if this is a if this is b b is always 0 and a can be either 0 or 1 so if you look into the truth table this section of the truth table your b is always 0 your b is always 0 over here your a can be either 0 or 1 under that scenario your output is always logic 1 okay so that's what that's what this particular function can be resolved as so x can be either input 0 or input 1 but b is always 0 over here and if b is always 0 your output is always 1 and that's what we get and this 1 will come and sit over here so this is the 0 0 and we need to take the uh, uh, the x is 0 0 and this is the output 1 and this 1 will come and sit at this particular point so this is the way we are trying to we are trying to get the values at the output of each and every gate over here so what we'll do is we'll stop at this point and we'll try to simulate the entire circuitry over here it will not take more than uh, more than a video so we'll try to simulate the entire circuitry over here and see what do we get at the d out and see whether the behavior is as expected as we saw for the rtl functionality so let's try to look into all this in the next video thank you